Welcome to the Drum Hang. I'm Chris Smith, and today's record of the day is Sonny Rollins, Way Out West. Great record, recorded uh, by the Contemporary label and released in 1957. Features Sonny Rollins on tenor saxophone, Ray Brown on bass, and the legendary Shelly Mann on drums. Now, Shelly Mann is one, if not the most recorded jazz drummer of all time. Really musical, really swinging, sounded great and in every setting, and made all the musicians around him always sound great. So, uh, check out Shelly Mann. And today, to check out Shelly Mann, I have this amazing eight-measure transcription on a song called That's What I'm Talking About. Now, Shelly recorded That's What I'm Talking About with Shorty Rogers on an album called The Swinging Mr. Rogers, released in 1955, two years before this. The song starts with uh, an intro by Shelley. It's eight measures. I use this all the time with students, so if you are looking to get into more drum transcriptions, this is the first one as far as I'm concerned. It's eight measures. It's short, it's clear, it's repetitive, and it's full of useful vocabulary. Everything in it you can use on 99% of tempos and styles, and it's going to work. It's just an amazing, clear transcription. five-stroke roll. It has great dynamics and phrasing. It incorporates the sound of the cymbal into the solo vocabulary, so it's not always just snare drummy. He plays the cymbal too, which I love. Um, it, it forces students to work on stickings. There's a triplet phrase he plays, and there's a left accent, and there's a right accent. And that's what jazz drummers do. We use stickings. We don't go alternating all the time. Right, left, right, left, right, left, that's rock. We don't do that. We have to sound like a horn player. So we use stickings to achieve that. Diddles, double rights, double lefts, and this is a great introduction to that. Um, swinging eighth notes between the hand and the foot is a great exercise, and Shelley does that in this transcription. Uh, it's really hard to play them consistent, swinging, and then he puts a dynamic shape to them, which is a whole other exercise, right? So the last thing that I really love about this solo besides the fact that it's, it's, a, it's approachable, uh, short, and extremely useful, is that it, it forces students to maybe go to the end and work their way backwards. A lot of times we think we're going to transcribe something from start to finish, and we're finally done when we go from start to finish. But sometimes you have to jump ahead and work your, work your way backwards. So s students a lot of times will bring this transcription in and tell me it's eight and a half measures, which I'm like, do you really think that Shelley played eight and a half measures and the band just came in knowing that? It seems kind of odd. So, that being said, where they feel beat one is, or where they feel this transcription starts, may not always be where it does. And the key is, he starts it and ends it exactly the same way. It's very thoughtful, it's, inc it's incredible, man. It's Shelley man. So let's check this out. A couple pieces of the vocabulary broken down. Um, the first lick that antripolit one, antripolit two, I use a right, two left diddles, and a left accent. Then he goes into the five stroke roll, utilizing the sound of the cymbal. Then he slickly gets himself, himself to these uh, swinging eighth notes where I'm focusing on trying to play in the middle of the drum so that I get a good sound. Because a lot of, you know, if you don't think about where you're playing, why doesn't it sound like Shelly Mann? And why don't I sound like I have a full drum sound? It's, well, you're not, you don't give yourself a chance. Play in the middle of the drums. Those eighth notes with the dynamic shape is really hard to keep them swinging and in time. And then super slick, he ends with the same triplet phrase he started with.
big fan of uh, taking small parts of transcriptions and using them as your own vocabulary. I mean, I would never play the eight measure transcription of Shelley Mann on a gig. That's not going to happen. Uh, I don't want that to happen. But what I do want to happen is pieces of this solo to come out in my playing unconsciously. That is why we transcribe and that is how we find our own sound. So uh, taking little pieces of this and improvising with it. So for instance, let's just take this lick I'll just play time. I'm just going to play time. I'm not going to worry about much of anything except I'm going to put that lick in whenever I can. started changing the stickings even a little bit which is great I'm starting to explore that and I used my symbol I'm moving around the kit that's what this is about you can do the same thing with those eighth notes <laughs> for you to start exploring vocabulary and how you want to use it. Of course, I'm always here for private lessons, online or in person. If you're interested, I would love to hear from you. And uh, most importantly, go check out Shelly Mann on That's What I'm Talking About, Shorty Rogers, The Swinging Mr. Rogers. Check out Shelly Mann, man. <laughs>